this week's ISFA News Flash, remember to subscribe to the channel to hit that little bell icon if you would like notifications of when we load new content. And remember that every day at 10 o'clock we do put up a new video in weekdays, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Also, remember to keep our sketches coming to grindelite at asfm.co.za and remember to please include the location, the boat the fish was caught on and what tackle the fish was caught on. As much information as you can possibly supply us and that way also helping other anglers to get the results when they visit the spot. We kick start this week's ASFN News Flash with Michael C who caught a beautiful blackfin shark and a honeycomb. These fish were caught at a beach just before Timmy Manor and they were both caught on live shad. Michael was using his Dawa Saltis 8000. And then a catch of a lifetime for Mayurin Moodley who caught this 18.3 kilogram Kuta. This was caught at the block in Port Shepston. This fish was also caught on live shad. Mayurin used 37 pound Kingfisher line. Then Ashwin Nadu who was also lucky enough to get stuck into those beautiful ribbon tails that's been around. This was a female fish weighing in at 76 kilograms and this fish was safely released. Ashwin is using his Saltus 8000 and a mackerel bait. Josh Ma is making waves with his brand new Dawa Grande Elite that he won last year catching this 182 centimeters that's 123 kilogram male raggedy shark. Then on the edible side he also managed to catch this grunter of 53 centimeters. Then Quaid had a spectacular fishing session managing to break three PBs in one session over one night. He first caught a personal best smooth hound shark and then broke his PB again with another smooth hound shark. After that he followed with his first ever diamond ray of 19 kilogram. Shortly after this his PB was once again broken with his second diamond ray of 55 kilograms. That's measuring in at 182 centimeters. All these fish were caught on mullet head with fillets and using a mustard 8-0 demon circle and 1.0 Maxima Ultra Green. All these fish were safely released. And then Quaid's friend managed to hook into a 209 centimeter raggedoof shark. This was a couple of centimeters short of his personal best. This fish took over two and a half hours to land, but once it got to shore, was still very alive and was quickly and safely released. And then Puta Rademeyer, following in his dad's footsteps, caught this beautiful stone beam. This is caught at Stillbar using his Kingfisher Poseidon an edible rod and his Dawa BG Max Seal 5000. This fish was safely released. Well that wraps it up for this week's ASFA News Flash. Remember to subscribe to the channel, to hit that bell icon and to like our videos. And remember to keep those catches coming to Grind Elite at ASFN.co.za. Please include the location, the bait, all the information you can possibly include to help other anglers visiting the area also to get the results. We'll see you next week. Same place, same time. Goodbye. Well done,